right, today we're going to talk about the truth about online courses and online gurus. Do they work? Are they a scam? Should you invest your money in this? Or is it like flushing money down the toilet? Let's go. Okay, so online courses, online gurus, they got a pretty bad rap. There's entire channels dedicated to smearing them and taking them down. Now, real quick, before we jump into that, I wanna tell you something. I wanna show you some of the things I've made money in in my life. I've made money in a lot of things, more than this list, but this is just to get us started. Real estate, iPhone apps, magazines, ad revenue, selling marketing services, selling websites, selling SEO, copywriting, direct mail, email marketing, conversion rate optimization online coaching, online courses, YouTube channels, affiliate marketing, software, blogging. These are just some of the things that I have made actual cold hard cash in in my life just in the last 10 years. Now here are some of the things that I've paid money, usually a minimum of $1,000 to learn online in an online course. Real estate, iPhone apps, magazines, ad revenue, selling marketing services, selling websites. You can see that the list isn't very different. In fact, it's not different at all. Every new skill that I've developed, I've developed by paying money to learn that skill, to get the proper mentorship and to actually put that skill into practice and then get feedback when things don't go right. And so there's this big thing out there about online courses, about how they cost so much money at $1,000 or $2,000 or $5,000. And what happens is that people will join these courses and they won't get any results. And they think, well, that course must have been a complete waste of money. But what people don't understand is about the compound interest you get on education. Because here is what taking an online course is really like, okay? You take this first one, you put a little bit into practice, you get distracted, you go back to your job, you get busy with family, and all you see is a little mark in the stone. Whereas success, getting financially free, is actually breaking that stone in half. And then what happens? You join the second course. Maybe you learn a new skill, you get excited again, you get some dopamine going in your brain, maybe even make a few friends in the course this time. But what happens again? You don't get the results you want. You're not financially free and you think, wow, online courses must really not work. This time I'm gonna join a coaching program. And what happens this time? You make a little bit more progress. Maybe you go out there, you even get a client or two, make a couple thousand bucks, don't quite break even. You think, this thing's really not working out. I've spent all this money and what do I have to show for it? But you're one of the persistent ones. By now, 80 or 90% of people who have made it three in have just given up and gone back to their jobs and given up on financial independence for their entire life. What happens? You go out and you think, well, this topic looks interesting. You join yet another course. That line in the stone starts to get deeper and deeper. You still don't have the progress you want, but maybe you've met somebody in that industry and they're crushing it. So why can't you crush it? They're not better than you. You saw them in the flesh and blood at an event. You know this person's not smarter than you. You know they're not a superhuman. You've realized that making money is accessible to people. So why not you? So you stick with it. You go to a live event. You get even more mentorship. You invest back into yourself. By now you're tens of thousands of dollars into that endeavor. And yet people around you are saying, online gurus are scamming you. Online courses don't work. And you keep hitting the hammer. Tap, 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 and the stone breaks into two. This is your financial independence. And some people might look at that and say, which swing of the hammer broke the stone? Was it the last one? Obviously it wasn't. It was the combination of every swing up until that point. And if you only took that last swing, that one course that you think, well, this one was worth it because I got instant results immediately. I was an overnight success. That's the only one that works. All the other ones are scams. If you think that way, you would have never broken the stone in half. Because the stone breaking was a combination of every tap of that hammer. It was learning a couple skills here, putting them in practice, get distracted. It was joining another course, realizing you have to come back to the path and keep going. It was that happening over and over again, you shoring up your weaknesses, you learning what you don't know you don't know and finding help in that area. You taking care of personal shortcomings or mindset problems that have nothing to do with the subject matter of that course. It's you building that accountability network by meeting people through education who are in the same industry as you. It's you sticking on the path where you start out, you're bad at it, you're terrible, you can't make any money, and you actually master those fundamental basic skills and eventually the stone breaks in half and you know how to break stones over and over again now. And it's that compounding effect 
that will get you success in life. And if you look at one swing of that hammer, you look at one online course and you say, well, that didn't work for me. I better just give up. You will never break the stone because you don't understand the fundamental truth about life. Everything is compounding returns. Your health, your relationships, your finances, the results that you're looking for, they come long after you've done the work. And if you can't see that, if you can't look backwards and connect the dots about how you got the things that you actually want in life, you will never take the actions necessary to get to that next step. So just this week, I had an opportunity to invest in a mastermind to build software as a service. It was 25 grand. You know how long it took me to make that decision? 10 seconds. I didn't even read the full description. I had to go back after I bought and look at what the dates were for the two live events of the year and look at what was included. Because I said to myself, Christian, if you want to build a multi-million dollar SaaS platform and you don't invest in this for 25K, you're full of You don't want that at all. You won't even invest in yourself to learn how to do this thing and you say you want it and you have the chance to get guidance from somebody who's done it over and over again to avoid all of those mistakes, to shortcut the process, to actually get the results you want. And all that takes is you waiting, being patient a year or two years to get the ROI on that investment. If you can't do that, you're lying to yourself about what you want. And so when it comes to online courses, I urge you to look at that line in the rock and be patient and keep tapping and realize that you are investing in the best thing you could possibly invest in your skill set. You're doing it at a price cheaper than any higher education institution that you can find in this country. So if you think $1,000 is a lot to invest in your education, you're going to have to wait and find out how expensive it is not to spend that money. So I'm not saying to ever work with me. I'm not saying to give me a single cent. I'm saying you are kidding yourself if you think that online courses don't work. If you think that online gurus don't work because I've been in the back rooms of dozens of online gurus and you know what? The number one thing we talk about is how to get students better results. How do we not only make sure the person who is already on that path gets results, but the people who are sabotaging themselves at every corner, every chance they get, they're giving up on themselves. They don't have the confidence. They don't have the structure in their life. They don't have the habits. They don't have the discipline. They have a family to take care of. They have a job to go to. How do we make sure those people get results? And that's the number one topic of discussion. It's not how do we take more of your money, it's how can we change your life forever? Because we've seen it happen for students who stay the course. We've seen it happen when they walk that path and we want it to happen for everybody to give them that freedom if they want. So next time you go watch one of these channels bashing these online gurus who sell online courses, or you wonder, should I be investing in myself or should I not? Think of that rock and tapping that hammer over and over again. And just remember, it is not the last tap. If you look around you and see, how did this person succeed? You're looking at the last tap of that hammer. You have to look at all those taps beforehand. You have to look at that person who says, I did six months mentorship and I didn't get anything out of it, yet they're successful the next month. Do you think that maybe that prior six months contributed to it? We all have to become the kind of person who can produce the value that is worthy of getting paid the money we want. And we do that by investing in ourselves, by getting better. So this is my battle cry to fight against the slander in the industry, to fight against all of the hate against online gurus and these people enabling each other not to take those first couple swings. Do online courses work? Only if you do the work. Pick one that's reputable, that has good student results, that has predictable student results. They happen over and over again. One that has longevity and go follow that process because those are the first couple hammer swings. And if you're not very good at communicating, if you don't know how to write a proper email, if you don't know how to log into Facebook, some of these basic skills, it's going to take you a little longer to get results. Now, if you're a little bit further ahead on the path and you can communicate clearly with people, if you know how to have proper habits in your life, if you can be disciplined, if you can be patient, you're going to get results so much faster, but we're all starting at different points. So for you, that could be results the first day, or it could be three months from now, or it could be three years from now. We're all on our own path. Go out there, find the education that works for you and invest in yourself because it's the best thing you could do. That's all for today. It's Christian Lee, Work From Anywhere, Digital Marketing Guy. See you on the next one.